All right, well, I've made a new one here. This I call the uh, lid motor solar top that's uh, self-charging. And uh, it's what I've been trying to get to uh, for a long time was something that would use a little bit of solar energy and just keep it on, on running. And uh, it's a combination of different things I've learned. And what this is is running on one AA battery. It's a rechargeable battery. 26... Uh, 50 and a milliamp per hour on a battery. It's got one solar cell that's a 3.5 um, volt 70 milliamp per hour and the system draws 10 milliamps. That's 10 milliamps. And it also produces light at the same time that it's running that top. It's producing light. Um, I'm running this on a uh, concave uh, makeup mirror. It's a 10 magnification uh, dished out concave mirror. I've got a uh, 5 8 inch ring uh, neomagnet with a uh, ball bearing, steel ball bearing uh, running on the bottom and a little wooden shaft for the spinner shaft which makes it a lot easier to, to fire up. Uh, the coil is a bifiler air core. There's no core in it. It's a Radio Shack stuff. It's 26 gauge and 30 gauge. Um, 75 feet of the 26 gauge and 200 feet of the 30 gauge all wrapped together, not twisted. Just wrap it up on an empty spool and off you go. Now the circuit is what I've been working with before and it's a combination here again of what I've learned and it's using a one small transistor. You can use a 2N222 or an MPSA06. I'm currently using this transistor here. It's a volt and a half uh, power source, rechargeable with a little solar cell. You've got a bifiler coil that's joined like a jewel thief. And that's why that LED is running. It's picking up back EMF on these collapsing fields. Um, I've got this one uh, diode here that is actually picking up the trigger, I'm sorry, the drive coil back EMF and shooting it back in. And then the white LED is picking up the back EMF off the trigger coil. So it's, it's gathering it from both directions. And uh, there's a diagram of the top that I'm using right there. This is Johnny Davro's idea. Johnny's the one that came up with the idea of using that ring magnet with a ball bearing. Wonderful idea. It works really, really good on this kind of a pulse motor. And that's what this is. This is a pulse motor. I call this the lid motor solar top that is self-charging using solar energy and I'm lid motor and anyway uh, the way this thing works is um, the little red LED in there is the diode that keeps the battery from discharging through the solar cell and when you put light on this um, the LED acts like a diode and lets the energy flow into the battery and the more energy that flows in there, the brighter the light. You can see that comes on bright. And all I got to do is set this outside or put it somewhere in the sun a couple hours a day, and that will gather plenty of energy. Now, also, the way this works is this is self limiting. When this battery gets to a certain point, the resistance gets high on it, and that LED goes out, and no more charge goes into it. And I found that very, very interesting. It's kind of the same way with the white LED. When the battery goes down, this LED gets dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. So you can tell the charge of the battery with these two LEDs. And uh, very, very simple. The uh, circuit, like I say, is a very simple one transistor circuit. Um, very, very simple, but very, very efficient. And like I say, it's running at 10 milliamps, and that's 10 milliamps uh, making that neodymium spin around and then lighting the light at the same time. And I'll show you how this works here. This is just a ring magnet with a ball bearing. And I put a little wooden dowel in there for a spinner shaft to spin it up with. And it just spins around on that concave uh, mirror until it gets stabilized. And then I put this over, um, over it to keep the dirt and any wind out of it. And it just runs along. I figure this will run five to seven days on that battery without any sun. So if I get some sun sometime during the week to charge that battery up, this should just keep on running as long as I feed it enough solar energy 
or light I can actually put a, a light on this and feed it with the light from a lamp if I want to do it that way but uh, this is light charged it charges with a light and that's my uh, lid molar lid motor solar top that's self-charging